What's going on with y'all people, man? I'm back at y'all with another Hogwarts Legacy video. Listen, man. Listen. Listen. Jesus Christ loves you. I love you more. Wait, wait, wait. Edit that out. I love you. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. Jesus Christ loves you more than I can even ever love you. But I swear I'm never going to get tired of telling y'all that. Y'all y'all going to get tired of me saying that, but I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I ain't really got too much more to say other than that, man. Let's go ahead and get straight into this game, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's pick up what we left off. All right. Last time we left off, man, my, my character was asking time about some where we at. Where we, I don't know, bro. Man, like, I know where we at. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? The Hogwarts got so many hidden areas, man. It's ridiculous. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder what this is back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Man, y'all yeah, been waiting on him to come back for the long game. You yes. need to learn to pulso the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Bro, they always want me to complete tasks, bro. I just want to, why can't I just learn the thing, bro? Like, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to complete no tasks. What is this? LOL! Surprise, shawty! Bro, it's that ghost again, dude. Like, bro, what is he doing? Like, I like train. Can he go back to the common room, bro? Like, what is he doing, bro? Like, he just floating, bro. Oh, man, he cool. I freak with that ghost, man. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This I fear, them all, bro. some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, <laughs> I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, what you mean? your What's turn. What's she saying thank you for? Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Bro, just say, why do I need a quick time event just to say, bro, say up! Up, bro! <laughs> One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. What if I'm like 60 some feet in the air? Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. This will take some getting are used to. Property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. Good grip. Bruh, but like, what the freak? Okay. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. It's not. I didn't. I didn't. This is not what I thought we were getting into. Like I thought I was going to learn a new too thing. Bad. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> Oh, 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 o
Hold on, no. Hold, 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 hold. Let me, hold, hold. Can Bruh. I get through the thing? Can I get, okay, okay. All right, thank you. Y'all ain't see that, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Why are you talking But I'm job? getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Bro. Follow me. I bet. Hey. The tour is about to begin. We're getting trouble. I'm going to now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. And if there he is, I'm snit. Can I jump nice off? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's Fine. something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Almory. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. But he just hit that bird, bro. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. We get in trouble, I'm telling you. I swear. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Dismount here. And where have you two been? I'm snitching. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed face. in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Don't let me talk. As for you, snitch. you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. She capping. I was over there going like these, slithering and stuff, you know, trying to get past the, the, the them rocks. She capping. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. Bruh. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. But they, they around here riding brooms like they like they dad um cars, bro. Let me get one, bro. Hold on, let me see. That's not crazy, bro. <laughs> I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Sebastian, bro, I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. I done been through some things, man. I ain't got all these quests. Let's do the room of requirement first, and then we go, uh... We're gonna do all the side quests and stuff Good on my detail. own. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I like how they give me all Please these quizzes and stuff. Please meet me in the 7th floor corridor. <coughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do all that off camera, y'all. 
they, they would give me all these side questions stuff when we on here, but I don't want the episode to be about. And the half of them already be like thirty some minutes long, but in reality, after everything's edited down, it's it, that's at least what it is. After the whole recording is, you know, after I get done recording, the whole recording is about like an hour or something long, most of the time. So, yeah. Had to do all that running. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Where did that door just come from, bro? You telling me that door been there that whole time, bro? They caught that. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. What's up with his I beard? I've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. I mean, I just looked at the wall. I didn't even find it for real. It just happened. It just... You know what I'm saying? You talking about some you wasted no time. I didn't even know what happened myself for real. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. We cut it this off our... presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. But where do the, where do the things go? All right, whatever. Hey, yo, this is a little difficult. All right, hold on. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where did that just go, though? Whatever. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? How he get past some chairs? He probably put them there. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <laughs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Oh, my bad. You a pain. Don't do that like I won't just break a hole, put a hole through the painting or something. Bitch, you better chill out. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh! <sighs> Y'all seen that? You, you see that? Yeah, they chilling. They just chilling in the in the, uh, in the pictures. This is weird, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around it here? I mean, you managing just fine. What was that? Was Revelio. that a golden stitch? Revelio. <laughs> Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> oh. You know who that is talking to me like that? They, they ain't gonna come out though, they scared. They ain't about it for real, they ain't about it. I hope that house elf can find us in here. See y'all, I'm already 23 some minutes in. Gotta count the time though that uh, 
it took for me actually to start the game and stuff like that. Hey, bro, who dropped this stuff, bro? Don't be throwing. Hey, hey, man. Hey, yeah, careful. watch out, bro. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been. Ain't no way she walked all the way and caught us. Apologies, Professor like Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's of appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke it is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. This is weird. yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed nothing to identify you'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified the desk will be an invaluable resource I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Hey. This game is weird, yo. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, though. I, I'm, I'm kind of bored with it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources so needed to conjure a particular like, object. You, you should have acquired some for a potion a station still, and like... potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. Oh, no. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Bad. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already. All right, whatever, bro. Let's see. Hold on. Let me just, let me just, let me do. I got to you feel me? Go meet up with Sebastian because my job about to die. So what is this? Like a custom area? What the freak? Bro, I don't even understand. What, what am I? What is this, bro? What is this game, bro? I don't even know what I'm doing for real, bro. Well done. 
You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may I don't care, bro. Uh, uh, thank you, Professor. I will be sure. Yeah, my camera died. We, we, we gonna wrap it up. That thing, on two, that thing got two things. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. No, I'm Very not. well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanish return. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna see what my boy Sebastian's talking about. <laughs> my fault, OG. Over here. Sebastian. Over here, right it's here. been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I bet. This way. I free There's Sebastian. a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. He just stays. He just stays selling me. He need to compliment me on my drip, though. You feel me? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt, he named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in never potions. Say never. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, Jeez, the wand him, chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Jesus, I've never heard he anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Bro, I don't learn like... Bro, it may I... take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Let's do it. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the other Have a go at the barbers. Both have their uses. Confringo. Nice work. How's it feel? That's it. I think I've got it. Well, so it's 
I keep throwing fire. Confirm them. Incendio. Oh, my fault, my boy. Confirm them. Accio. Expelliarmus. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I bet. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Go ahead and tell him, bro. He might as well. You know, he, you know You that. must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, my camera All might I know go is deep. that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I got you. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Incendio! Action! Hey, where did that just come from? Anyways, I know this... I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there, y'all. I know this episode was a little less eventful, but my camera is about to hit them folks. And I mean, it's about to hit them folks. It's about to hit the gritty. It's about to get, it's about to get jiggy. So I need to charge that bad boy. This episode is going to be a little on the shorter side too. I think it might come out to be around 20 some minutes. I'm going to catch up with y'all in the next episode, man. I'm going to catch up with y'all later, man. I love y'all. The Lord Jesus Christ loves y'all. Peace out, y'all.